Okay, first of all, is this not the cutest Starbucks cup you have ever seen? I think I got these in, I want to say like a six pack from Starbucks and I'm actually obsessed with them. Like we have so many of these lying around the house at this point. Yeah, I'm currently drinking my lemon cordial, which is very unlike me. I'm not usually much of a lemon girl. Um, But hey guys, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well. What do we think of this background, first of all? I've moved the camera around a little bit since I filmed my last makeup video. I don't know, I just thought it'd be fun to maybe have a bit more going on in the background for makeup tutorials, what do we think? I can't tell if it's gonna maybe distract a little bit from the makeup. But yeah, we're gonna be doing some makeup today. I am really in the mood to go out for dinner tonight, which I've not even mentioned to Dan yet. I feel like it's nice sometimes in relationships just to like go for spontaneous date nights. And I'm really in the mood to like make effort with my makeup today, which is what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna be filming like a little bit of a date night glam. Super excited because this video is actually in collaboration with Flannels. So everything that I use in this video, you can get on the Flannels website and also obviously in store as well. We actually had the opportunity to go to the new Flannel store in Liverpool last week, which Guys, I cannot explain to you how beautiful this store is. Like if you live in Liverpool, if you're ever shopping there, you need to go to the final store. It is incredible. Um, I think it's six floors total. It's actually a really, really big store. They have a wellness floor with like a Barry's and also Dr. Esho, which is where I had a facial done. Hands down, probably the best facial I've ever had in my life. My skin has actually... I don't think it's ever been this clear. Like it's been like glass ever since I had that facial last week. I did film a little bit in there. So you will see that on my Instagram soon. But yeah, everything that I'm using in this video is from Flannels. I'm gonna link everything down below. And I'm gonna do my best to be a little bit more adventurous with my makeup today. It's still gonna be very neutral. You guys know I love neutral makeup, but I kind of just wanna make it a little bit more like date night vibes if you know what i mean i've already gone ahead and done my brows and primed my eyes with some concealer so in terms of products i started with the iconic um brow silk this comes with the brow wax and then also a little brush to apply it with as well as i'm sure a lot of you know i always love to feather my brows brush them up put a little bit of wax through them just to add some texture and also create the shape a little bit before i go in with pencil and then the pencil that i used is the urban decay brow blade in the shade dark drape so this comes with a really nice fine pencil and then also a fine tip pen as well so i use both sides to fill in my brows and then add a little bit of extra definition with the pen as well and then i've gone ahead and used some eye cream so i've never tried this eye cream before it's from asop i want to say the brand is pronounced hopefully i'm saying that right it's their antioxidant eye cream this eye cream this is such a weird thing to rave about <laughs> like of all products an eye cream but oh my god, this is hands down the nicest eye cream I've ever used. It's so just like silky under the eyes. It feels very hydrating, which is always what I want from an eye cream. But also not too heavy either to the point where it kind of like... I don't know, builds up under concealer or under other products. It just feels so beautiful on the skin. And then on top of that, I used my Pat McGrath concealer. This is in the shade L5. It's such a beautiful concealer, really creamy in terms of the formula. It gives a really nice coverage as well. So I've gone ahead and done all of that um, off camera. So yeah, this is how everything is looking. Obviously, I'm gonna do eyes first today, just in case there's any fallout. For my eyes, I'm gonna use a Kylie Cosmetics palette. This is, I think this is actually the bronze palette, but like the new edition of it. Oh my God, should we peel the film? so satisfying yeah i don't know if she's just like reformulated these and switched them up because i have her original bronze palette but i'm not sure if she sells it anymore i feel like they've been replaced with this like style instead which has it's like a plastic um component i guess like a plastic palette and then the shadows inside so i'm gonna use this on my eyes today i love kylie shadows like i really love the formula so i'm gonna start with probably this shade here which is unmatched and i'm gonna use that in my crease really love the fact that they have a full kylie counter in there they have as i said a lot of um brands in the flannels in liverpool that you won't find elsewhere so they had an Hermes counter, is that how you say that? 
Hermes. I want to say that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's only eight of those in the UK, I want to say. So that's very like exclusive. Sorry, I'm not actually even saying what I'm doing so far, but I'm just starting on the outer crease and then basically just like buffing that through. Just using a very light hand at the minute. And then I'm also going to wing it out slightly towards the end. This is what I love about these shadows. Every single time I use Kylie shadows, they just blend so easily. Like I don't know what she put in the formula of these, but they are beautiful and obviously quite affordable as well, which is really nice. They also have beauty changing rooms in the flannels in Liverpool, which I've never seen anything like that before, but you can basically take products in as in like testers and stuff and try them on in the changing room, which I thought was such a nice idea because it's just like your own little space to like actually test products, like play with the makeup, see what you want to purchase. And they had like a really fun mirror in there where you could take like Polaroids, download them, print them out. Like it was just a really, really nice experience. So the whole, honestly, the whole beauty haul, I think we actually spent like three hours down there. I went with Dan and I thought he would literally get to the end of the day and just be like dying to go home, which in some ways he kind of was, but he actually had a really good day there as well because there's just so much to do in store. Obviously they have, um, a lot of fashion brands in there as well. Like the Balenciaga in flannels is unreal. Like they've done every single um, concession really beautifully. Is this my Amazon parcel? And it is. How is it that I go to the gym every single week, but I literally still get out of breath from running up and down the stairs. I think I'm then gonna go in with this shade here, which is Take Notes, this like slightly deeper shade. I'm gonna again build this up a little bit. I don't wanna take it too smoky um i kind of want to do more of like a smoky wing vibe so i'm not going to do like tons of shadow but i just want to use this to kind of like add a little bit of definition but yeah in a nutshell if you're ever in liverpool you need to go to the final store like it is stunning also the restaurant in there really random the restaurant in there is probably it's mostly like italian they do pizzas and pasta and probably one of the best pastas I've ever had like me and Dan got the same thing we basically got the carbonara but I got it without meat um it was so good like so good it was just like a really simple like creamy pasta I think what I'm gonna do next is actually carve out the wing and then I'm gonna smoke the wing out a little bit so I'm gonna use this shade here which is brunette and I'm gonna like create a wing with this but then smoke it out after with like a dense brush and i'm literally only taking it to like this part of my eye i'm not going to do like a full wing i might use like a little pencil brush for this with the shade mocha latte i'm going to kind of take this into the crease a little bit as well and then back in with a lighter shade just to soften okay i'm actually really liking this so far i'm gonna use just like what i have for concealer and just gently it's not actually got any product on it really just like leftover product but i'm just gonna use that to wipe away i then have this product here from natasha denona this is their chroma crystal top coat it looks like so in the shade nude basically just take a little bit of this and just pat really gently. I don't want anything crazy. Oh my God. Sorry, I actually love it. <laughs> I know this is like, this literally looks like every single glam makeup look I've ever done, but for some reason, I feel like smoking out that liner a little bit has just made a tiny bit of difference. Obviously, if you've not got lashes on, feel free to do mascara or false lashes, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna start with a moisturizer. This is the Kate Somerville Retinol Vitamin C Moisturizer. I've not actually tried this before, but this says it firms, brightens, and smooths, which when I saw that on the website, I was sold. Let me like give this a go. Ooh. Oh my God, it's like bitty. Is that because it's got retinol in? It's like a little bit bitty. God, what does that smell like? It smells like orange, but it kind of also smells like milk. It feels really nice on the skin. It feels really like hydrating. And then for primer and SPF, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Invisible UV 
Flawless Polis Primer. I really like this because it basically just does two jobs in one. So it has like SPF 50, but then it also primes the skin a little bit as well. So I'm just gonna pop this over that moisturizer. Okay, and then this next product, if you get one thing from this video, you need to get this. I am obsessed with this now. I use it every single time I do my makeup. I've only been using it for like maybe two, three weeks, which obviously isn't the longest time, but I saw Mads using this in Ibiza and I was like, oh my God, what is that that you've just put on your skin? Because it looked unreal. So this is the Iconic London Radiance Booster. I have the shade Sand Glow. It says it can be worn either alone or under foundation for extra glow, which is pretty much what I do with it. I actually mostly wear it on its own because it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer, but then it also gives you like a really glowy finish as well. I don't know what I want to do today. I'm like, do I want to do foundation? I don't actually wear foundation a lot anymore. I might just apply this with my hands and then see, but <laughs> not me getting like moisturizer everywhere. But literally all that I do is I put this on my hands. I do like two pumps and then I'm just going to kind of like spread it across both of my hands and then just start rubbing it into the skin. You can use a brush with this as well if you want to, but I don't actually feel like you need it. And when I'm trying to do my makeup really, like really quickly, I basically just like apply this like it's a moisturizer and then go over with a sponge. Like, can you see the difference? It kind of just adds a bit of coverage, but it's nothing super heavy. Obviously Mads used it in Ibiza, so it's perfect for holidays and things like that. But then I just think for summer in general, it's also really nice because you can literally just like buff this onto your skin and it almost does look like a foundation but it more so just looks like you're tanned and glowing and you look very like it evens your skin tone out if you know what I mean so yeah hands down one of my favorite products at the minute and then I think what I might do is just add a little bit of extra coverage with this foundation, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Again, one of my favorite foundations at the minute. So just like pretty on the skin, very like glowy, very nice for summer. It doesn't feel too heavy, but yeah, it just feels really, really nice on the skin. So I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this on with a sponge just for a little bit of extra coverage in areas where I want it. I feel like if we're doing date night makeup then I want to do foundation and put like a little bit more effort in than usual. I just love the finish of both of these. Obviously they are very dewy so I feel like you'd have to set them down with a powder if you have more oily skin. And then I'm gonna go around a little bit with my brows. I always do this when I do foundation just to make sure that they're not there's no like difference in terms of like the color. And then for cream bronzer, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sunkissed Glow Bronzer in the shade Tan. So I'm literally just gonna get some on the brush. That was maybe a bit too much. <laughs> and press it in. I always forget this is actually quite a pigmented cream bronzer. I'm used to using one that's a little bit more um, like subtle in terms of the shade, so. Yeah, I feel like a little bit goes a really long way. I actually cannot believe it's my birthday next week and I'm gonna be 25. <laughs> Where does the time go? I think literally all we're gonna do is just go for dinner. Um, Like me, Mads, Rach, I think Millie will come, which will be really nice. No, I'm actually really excited. We're going to Peter Street Kitchen in Manchester, which I've never eaten at before. I've been once for drinks. And I think they're doing like a new menu, which actually starts next Friday when we're going and I think it's like associated with Whispering Angel as in the rosé, which when I saw that I was like, right, like we need to go. I feel like that is a sign <laughs> to book it. Okay, so I've just buffed that in with a brush. I think I'm gonna go around with a sponge just to soften it out a little bit. Can you see, like obviously I look glowy because I've just put loads of really glowy products on, but I'm actually sweating <laughs> this makeup off. It has been so hot the past few days like I can literally see my sweat coming through which is great. For concealer I'm going to use the same Pat McGrath concealer in the shade L5. This is the Skin Fetish Concealer. I'm actually just going to do the very inner corner and then also here just to lift a little bit. I'm literally sweating but I don't want to open a window because I'm pretty sure my next door neighbour is literally working 
next to me with her window open. <laughs> so she's just gonna hear me waffling away. I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit because that always adds a bit of extra coverage to concealer. I'm literally just buffing this out and then kind of just like carrying it up to the hairline a little bit just to get a bit of a lift. And then powder, I think I'm gonna use Laura Mercier if I can see it, yeah, just like my translucent Laura Mercier powder. Onto powder bronzer and contour, I've got the Kylie Cosmetics Pressed Bronzing Powder in the shade Tequila Tan. So I'm just gonna use this very gently on top just to add a little bit of extra definition. And then it also helps to set down the cream bronzer as well. I don't really tend to powder like the outer parts of my skin just because because my skin's usually dry, I don't usually need the extra powder and this kind of like is a bit of a two in one doing it this way. And then I'm just gonna contour my nose with this as well, which is probably one of my favorite parts about doing makeup. Like I feel like, I feel like it kind of completes the eyes because I connect like my nose contour to the eyeshadow. So it just gives a little bit of an extra shadow like underneath the brow. Also guys, who's watching Love Island this year? Because I'm invested. Like I am obsessed with this season. I feel like this has been the best season since when it used to be like really, really good. I feel like tonight's episode is gonna be interesting because as I'm filming this, I've just seen that Jax has like supposedly quit. What happened with the guys this year in Casa Amor? I feel like the girls were so calm like respectful with the way they did everything the guys what was going through your head i don't understand sorry before i get carried away i'm gonna highlight so i've got the jouet highlighter in the shade citrine which kind of just looks like a like an icy gold color so i'm gonna give that a go tasha and andrew i actually felt quite bad for andrew because i feel like those girls came in from castro more and literally just like hounded him in front of everyone and was like, you're a mug, blah, 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 blah. I actually felt quite bad for him because I feel like you could just tell he was like, not in a good place. But then at the same time to do all of that with Coco, again, like there's just not really a need for it. <sighs> Adam Collard coming back. What the hell? I'm actually surprised they've not done that more, like thinking about it. I feel like I heard at one point, which obviously was just a rumor, but that they were gonna do like, a side series of Love Island at one point with like lots of ex cast members that are still single. Oh my God, Ekinsu and Davide. They need to win. They're literally my favorite couple. I just think they're so funny together. I don't know what it is. I just think, I feel like Ekinsu is so entertaining. Like she was so good for this season. I feel like she straight away came in, like brought the drama. Davide is just funny without trying. Like I feel like he just, comes out with things that he doesn't even intend to be funny with and he just is. I'm gonna do a blush next. So I'm gonna do a Pat McGrath blush. Oh my God, I actually don't know. Oh no, it's the shade Nude Venus. This is the Skin Fetish Divine Blush. Packaging on Pat McGrath is so beautiful. From what I understand, Pat McGrath is cruelty free because um, obviously, as you guys know, I am cruelty free, so all of these products are cruelty free as well, which is really great. Flannels have a great um, selection of cruelty free brands. Pat McGrath is like the only one that, it's a bit of a gray area. I feel like I can't, from what I can see online, they are, they are cruelty free. There's not tons about it online. From what I've seen, they are cruelty free. If anyone can give me like a little bit more insight into that, then that would be super helpful because I do really love Pat McGrath products. I think all we've got left to do is lips. So, as always, I am a Charlotte Tilbury girl through and through when it comes to lips. I've got the lip liner in the shade Hot Gossip. Genuinely, probably like one of the only lip liners I use. It is just so beautiful. Such a nice like warm pinky nude color. And then I'm gonna use the lipstick in the shade Cover Star over the top. And then we have got a Kylie gloss here. So this is in the shade 322. It's like a really pretty um, like sparkly pinky shade. So I'm gonna give this a go oh yeah that is cute okay last but not least as always urban decay all nighter 
just to set that down see this i'm literally sweating buckets over here that is today's makeup i'm actually really happy with how it came out i feel like smoking out that wing a little bit such a subtle thing to do differently but i feel like it's kind of just made everything look a little bit more like sultry on the eyes which i really like i'm gonna link everything down below in terms of products definitely check them out as i said if you are in liverpool live in liverpool ever around the funnel store definitely go and visit they have so much going on in there and it is such a beautiful store to go and shop in and yeah i'm very grateful that i got to collaborate with them on this because honestly we had the best day like me and dan went together we filmed we had lunch we literally spent like six hours in the store which sounds ridiculous but there's so much that you can do in there and it's just a really nice experience um with all of the staff being so friendly and lovely as well but yeah big thank you to finals for wanting to work with me thank you so much for watching as well i hope you're all having a lovely week as always and I will see you in the next video. Bye.